If you've used section headings in Angel to display banner images or text for the student, they will appear as a page in Desire to Learn. If you'd like to continue using these section headings, you'll need to, to copy and paste them into descriptions for the module or sub-module. So what I'm going to show you here, this is maybe a little bit longer uh, tutorial because this is, a, I don't want to say complicated, it just takes a little bit of time. I want to show you all kind of the steps in this case. To get to the content, you would click on the content prompt down, click content. And in this particular course, I'm going to go ahead into Unit 2 here. Uh, in this particular course, um, it used a lot of section headings. So I'm going to go ahead to my Angel course and show you what I'm talking about here so you can get to see what, I'm, what I mean. So the first thing is we have a banner image up here. And then we have this thing called Introduction with some text in it that's called the section heading. So this is a section heading here. And then we have another section heading. Uh, we then have a reading assignment section heading, and underneath of that reading assignment section heading, we actually have some pieces of content. Uh, these will all come across in Desire to Learn. So how does it look like in Desire to Learn? Because Desire to Learn does not have any kind of concept of a section heading. What they have is modules and sub-modules. So the idea here is if you want to use the concept of section headings, what you want to do is create sub-modules and then move content into those sub-modules. And if there's text within those uh, section headings, uh, you could then use the description area for it. So let me go back into Desire to Learn and show you what I'm talking about. So you notice at the top there was a banner image. Well, the banner image now comes across as this Unit 2. And there's the banner image. So I want to take this banner image and move it up to the module description. So what I need to do is, I clicked on the topic, Unit 2, I'm going to go ahead and edit the HTML uh, in here, just simply to copy and paste. I highlight it in the HTML editor, do Control-C or Copy, I'm now going to go ahead out of there, and go back to Unit 2 using breadcrumb links up here to take me back and forth where I was. And notice that under the module, Unit 2 here, there is an added description. And one of the things that's nice in Desire to Learn is anytime you mouse over any one of these items and it turns to a little gray thing, that means you can just click on it to edit it. You don't have to click anywhere else, it's right there. And I'm just going to do Control-V, I can do control pay, you know, copy and paste, and then I'm going to go ahead and click Update. And what that will do is that moves that section heading to the top of the module so it kind of looks like what it does in Angel. So now this particular topic I don't need anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that topic and I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. So that's the first thing, um, the first step in this process. The second one is to now look at this introduction. Okay, so this introduction, if you remember, is a section heading right here. So what I have to do to get this text into um, uh, a section heading or into a sub-module and into that description is I have to create that sub-module. So again, what we're trying to do is delineate the same way that we have in Angel each of these areas, but we have to create what's called sub-modules. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this text and right-click and copy or Control-C. I'm going to go back to Unit 2 and I'm going to create a sub-module that's called introduction. So I scroll down to the bottom here and there's where I create a sub-module. I'm just going to call it introduction. And then I just hit the enter key. And that creates the sub-module. Now you'll notice right now I seem that I cannot put the text into here right now. So what I need to do is scroll back up and you'll notice that under unit 2 I now have a sub-module. It's been indented. If I click on that sub-module itself, called Introduction, and I scroll up a little bit, I can now add a description. So all I need to do is do the paste, and I click Update, and that gets updated. I don't have any topics inside of that, but I just have the text that I want. And now if I go back to the Unit 2, and I'm going to go ahead and delete this topic. I no longer need this topic, and I no longer need any of the associated files with it. So that way it can keep things clean because it, the introduction's right there. So that's the first step in the process. So now let, let's go down, for example, to the reading assignments 
where first I have a little bit of text, but then I also have some topics in there. So what I want to do, again, is just go back and forth to my angel course and recreate kind of what is there. So here's the reading assignment um, heading, and you'll see there it is. I'm just going to take that and just copy that. Uh, I can actually go ahead and delete this topic now if I want. Go ahead and delete that topic. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. <clears throat> I'm going to click on create a submodule called readings. Hit enter. And again, I can't add anything to that uh, the description because I have to click on the submodule name itself uh, on, in the table of contents. Click on add a description paste that in and click update. Now that's updated. Now what I want to do is move the topics or the content as it was in Angel that I had underneath that section heading into the submodule in Desire to Learn. And again this is a very simple process. So what I do is I go back up to the Unit 2 where the, where the topics are located and it happens to be these four topics and I'm just going to take them move my mouse over these three lines here and I get a four-headed arrow. I hold my left mouse button down and just drag and drop it over top of the readings. What that will do is move it into that submodule and I know that it will move it in there because it has the number of topics for each one of those modules that need, the students need to complete. So I just simply keep dragging and dropping the items into it. And now if I click on that submodule, you'll notice that there they are. And if they're not in the right order, if this is supposed to be first, I just simply take and drag it and move it up and around. And I drag it into the position that it needs to be. So let's do just one more, just so you feel comfortable with it. Let's look at the video lesson. So the video lesson has some, uh, some HTML content in it. So this is a, um, an embedded video. I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit. Now, in this particular case, what I am going to do is I'm actually going to go into the HTML source. I am going to Control A to copy it, Control C to, to paste it. I'm going to go ahead out of there, go back up to Unit 2, scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to add a submodule, video lesson. And again, what I'm going to do in this particular case is click on video lesson. So you can start to see how this gets delineated and helps the student to understand what they have to do in Unit 2 instead of everything being in one long space. So in this case, again, I click on the source, which is down here. I'm going to go ahead and paste in my code. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to click Update. And that, if I go back to Unit 2 and go down to the bottom, that should be there. So now one of the other things I may need to do is to actually move to the video lessons if I go back to my course in Angel was actually the second thing that I wanted. So in this case, I just take this and drag it up. Now if I drag it over top like that, that will create a submodule of the submodule. If I take it and drag it to where it's the little line, that will then move it up and above the reading one. So let's look at this from the student perspective. I know I haven't moved everything else. Well, let me get rid of this topic here. I know I haven't moved everything else, but you get the idea that what would happen is it would then, I can then move um, this introduction up to the top. So let me just show you from the student perspective. The student would come into the content browser, one way of doing it. They come to Unit 2 and they can see, oh, there's my video lesson, there's my introduction with my information, there's my readings, and there's my various PowerPoints that I need to look at. And again, if I have these sub-modules in here, it will help delineate how this module will work and it will help the students um, in terms of understanding what they need to complete within the module.